What's going on YouTube? Another update here for the hot tub aquaponic garden. It's a nice day out. It's about 60 degrees outside, which is way better than yesterday. It was uh, really 40, uh, right below 40. And today in here, it's like 65, so it's like a uh, nice spring day in here. Got uh, usual suspects over here, except if you look right over here, right there, as well as right there, I've got an attempt to try some garlic through those guys right in there, and I've already got a little bit of green growth, uh, if you can see that. So, kind of happy about that. I'm not uh, killing as many plants as I think I am. Swiss chard, not looking too bad. Really hasn't done anything for quite a while, just like that little tiny strawberry over there. Rosemary, looking beautiful. And this little Swiss chard, nada. Uh, right over here, these same old crap over here. Uh, same old thing going on. Stupid little heat lamp uh, idea over here. Oh, by the way, no peas. <laughs> not one damn pea came out. Three packages between the two beds, not one. Yet. Uh, still, I don't uh, really think I'm going to get anything. Uh, and uh, I'm going to blame the seeds were too old. That's where I'm throwing the blame on. And, you know, obviously myself, because I planted the dang things. But I knew that whenever I planted them, that's why I decided what the hell, throw them in there. And if they do nothing, then that's exactly what they're going to do when I throw them out. So why not try them? And I did, and got nothing. But this uh, whole stupid heat lamp uh, attempt here, I think I'm going to go ahead and move it back to that bed where I'm still trying to fix that up. That way I can uh, help dry out those roots a little bit better. And uh, also, just to note, uh, this stupid little dome idea, it does get a little heat here, so it gets a little bit of humidity, like you can see here. Absolutely not a thing under there. Uh, it didn't grow anything. It did help in the summer, but this time, not a thing. Another view of nothing. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see, we got the hydro tube here. Everything's looking pretty nice. Um, but like I said, same old, same old. Uh, if you notice, oh my god, look at that. It is dirty as heck in there. Well, I got sick and tired of that stupid tarp that really was doing nothing but floating in the water by the time I got rid of it. So I thought, what the heck, getting rid of that dang thing. And as you can see, you got pretty clear water. You can see a bunch of dirt from when this uh, greenhouse didn't even exist and that stuff got in. And that would have been way, well, no, probably right in with the tarp. But anyway, pulled the tarp off. And to my amazement, you know, if you watch my past videos last summer, it was like every other week or every week I was bringing home another dozen or two goldfish and throwing them in here. I think I was at the pet store talking to them. I'm pretty sure that I bet like, uh, oh, I don't know, like 17 dozen or something last year. And I pulled the cover off here and I could find about 14 in here, which just blew my mind because I thought I definitely had way more than that. And I cannot find the Pleco. That Pleco was giant. It was like a good 9, 10 inches long. Last time I saw him, he's in one of the past uh, videos. And I uh, actually saw him way over here in this corner where a bunch of fish are congregating. And uh, so, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of guessing maybe right there in that little uh, jet dealie over there. It's got a little cave-like thing. He might have got in there and then couldn't get out or something. Or I don't know, maybe he's just in there dead. Or maybe he, I don't know. Can't find him. Don't know where he's at. But, so since I only saw, I only had just over a dozen fish, I decided that I would go ahead and grab some fish. Can I go fishies? Uh, they're little tiny little guys, but three dozen in there. And back here, two dozen. Good start, anyway. Now, I know they're uh, pretty small, but uh, they're all in here. You can't really see any right now, but you can see right down in there, there's a whole bunch of them down there hanging out. And they like right over there by that cord and right around the whole pump uh, enclosure there. And, uh, well, oh well, we're going to start all over again, I guess. Uh, the other bed needed fish. Uh, the other uh, fish tank, that is, needed some fish. So I thought, what the heck? I definitely need some more in here. So we've only got about four dozen or so. That was three in the bag. So I've got like just over four dozen so far. Uh, so I need more fish again. So gonna have to go do that. Uh, with this old bed, it uh, 
was coming along halfway nice as you can see there's some stuff that's actually starting to dry up so it's nice and easy to get out of here but it rained on me and the stupid bed filled up so I had to turn it back on drain the entire thing and now I'm back to square one but if I do the heat lamp idea hopefully that'll uh, double my time but let's get on to what the real changes are this week I can't believe I'm this uh, goofy so right over here biofilter <laughs> forever I have had it and it just would come in and just kind of fall into the bio balls. Why? Well, in past videos I tried to make a swirl filter, I tried to make one out of a hot tub filter, not a swirl filter, but a filter, and it was nothing but a hot tub filter where the pipe would go into and then go backwards instead of like with a hot tub it would go, come from the outside and go into the filter. This one would go from the inside to the out and clean the water. Didn't like that design. Pulled that, made a swirl filter. At the time, I had a different pump. The pump was a lot weaker than this one, so this valve right here, which just uh, is just a diverter, you know, off the main line right here, it just diverts right here and just dumps extra water back in so that this thing doesn't overflow. Well, I didn't have that back then. And whenever I put a swirl filter in, every time I turned the pump off, it would backflow. Everything from inside this bucket would just start uh, siphoning right back into the tub because it was a closed, you know, system. Well, I totally forgot whenever I upgraded the pump and put in this uh, diverter over here, I totally forgot that I had a diverter right there. That will break your siphon. So now I have put one of these dealies, which is a uh, you know, typical swirl filter design, and just drop that straight down in there, and now it connects. So whenever I turn off the pump, this will break the siphon, and the air will go in, and bang, it doesn't siphon all this water back in. And now I feel really dumb, because it's been like that for all last year, and I could have had it a swirl filter instead of just a bio filter. But I also drained out almost all of... Uh, this when a pump was off and I went ahead and gave it to uh, the water to some of my strawberries in my dirt garden so hopefully they will be taken off and uh, enjoying the benefits of a little bit of fish food. And one more thing I did was that air stone. I moved it around so I had a little extra length and it wasn't going about a third of the way into the bucket. Now it's sitting on the bottom so that aeration you can see is coming all the way from the bottom so hopefully that will help us out here a little bit. Right over here and oh man, look at that freaking algae man. I swear the best plant I have going in any of my systems is algae. Um, so anyway, <laughs> strawberries are all looking pretty nice. They're just hanging out. They're waiting for warmer weather. Um, the tank water was 42 when I put the fish in yesterday. I gotta get a heater. I get these guys going. And over here, you can see I had one strawberry die off. Another one has new growth. Never did put anything there because I pipe. Um, this guy's looking pretty good. Got some dead leaves on that one. Some new growth right there coming right on up. Everybody else is looking pretty good. And that's about it for this week. So I got tons of work to do. And uh, I'm going to get on that. So. By the way, JT Bear. My videos are supposed to come out on Tuesday. See how late I am. <laughs> anyway, till next time. Later. Going on YouTube. Another update here for the lava rock. <laughs> Take that off the back. Pull it out of the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs>